Oh, this is a nice map for us. Very difficult to pin front on at range. And we won't have that issue returning fire, that's for sure. It's kind of like playing a mobile game, this. That is one very brave Russian boy. Thought he was invincible at this range and clearly not. <laughs> Couple of guys, long range. Guska. Spawn protected, I think. He's moving now, though. Oh, yeah, he, he is moving. <laughs> okay. Gaijin, nice hull break there, dude. Here comes a big old missile. I'm gonna... Yeah, that was definitely not good by, by my standards. Here comes another one. Static, though. There we go. That shot was more deadly than his shot. So same dude in a different tank, maybe. Engine radiator fuel tank. Oh, he's at an angle, too. Got him crit. He took a shot as well, it's okay. His breach is out. There we go. Being locked up. Nice drop. Good. I'm proud of that one. There we go. Waiting on a Tunguska firing. Somebody's shooting at a typhoon. World War II boy. Bombs out. Oh, he just took some damage. There goes another one. Out of those two tanks I just bombed, we are very likely to spawn a Tanguska or a Meg of some sort. Oh, there we go. <laughs> welcome to top tier. <laughs> Salut and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at probably the most interesting top tier vehicle in the game. This is the Leclerc. And before some angry French boy comes in and says that's not how you pronounce that, we all have accents. I'm pretty sure you have one too, so please be kind. And the reason I've decided to take this tank out today is because of this guy. France now has a pretty competitive top tier jet for doing pass. And this thing is definitely that. Now we have some very unique armament options for this and one of them being this guy. This is a multi-dart AB rocket and it's basically a fliché shotgun for an aircraft. But in today's video, I'm going to be dropping some bombs. And the main reason for that is the snebs just aren't very accurate at all. You have to kind of carpet bomb an area and they're not that efficient compared to dropping a big old lump of metal filled with explosives. And with a blast radius of 7 meters, shouldn't be a problem taking out vehicles, that's for sure. Now we are also outfitted with two magic missiles. No, not the kind that are on the internet meme. These are very, very good anti-aircraft missiles. They lock up from quite some distance. They're very maneuverable and super deadly if you get hit by one. And can we just all agree that the Jaguar is one of the coolest jets ever made? Just look at this thing, dude. I love the square intakes, I like the fact that it's basically just a rectangle with a pointy nose and some wings sticking out of it. It just looks mean as hell. And the Leclerc is pretty much the same thing. This is one of the best top tier tanks in the game. If we check out our x-ray here, look at these Nera elements. This thing is insane at stopping darts, even more insane at stopping heat. And even the hull has a lot of protection compared to most top tier MBTs. And that's not the only trick up this tank's sleeve. We have a dart with 575mm of penetration point blank. And even at range, this thing still exceeds some of the other darts that we'll face. And the number I want you to focus on here is the muzzle velocity. 1800 meters per second. That's one of the fastest top tier rounds in the game, making this one of the easiest MBTs to use in the entirety of War Thunder. Now I've pretty much picked the worst possible time to bring this vehicle out. Russia right now is very good let's say, very high win ratios and they're very difficult to deal with just because their armor is pretty good and they can just spawn maybe five or six effective tanks at this battle rating. But regardless, I thought this would be a nice challenge. I haven't done top tier for a while. So let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> First map, we're on Fulda, and we're probably versing Russia. Yes, versing only Russia. And here we go. We got a couple of Leclerc's here. Myself and Mr. Fox here. Oh, 
you up, brother? Ooh. I think we're the only ones that really stand a chance right now. I mean, the 2A5 is still a good tank. <sighs> it's the Russians have so many vehicles to choose from, actually. That's the real issue. I fully expect the 2A6 to come very shortly. And another variant of this Leclerc. This is crazy, actually. We don't even have any US here. I think they just gave up. Look at this map, though, in the sun. I like full that at this top yard. Any other place? A big hell no from me. Okay, thermals are working. I see people are really enjoying new machine gun sounds. Oh, Justin's here. Mr. Justin plays TV. Also a YouTuber. He's asking what I'm doing at top tier. I, I have no idea how to answer that question. Here we go. We already got some action. We're just going to chill here for a bit. See if we can find someone to make some mistake. That guy is definitely one to keep an eye on. Two dudes pushing this way. Three actually. The back one. So we don't alert the rest. Now the chase is on, I guess. That dude is going to be fixing his breach very shortly. That one's dead. Uh, breach out on him too. Got him on fire, so he's not going to... Oh, damn, dude. Not ideal. Okay, back on B. That went surprisingly well. A little bit of patience paid off. And this is where it all goes downhill. The enemy respawns. And... <laughs> All sorts of things, mainly MiG-21s and CAF-52s, and CAF-50s, and Havocs, yeah, pretty much anything. It's got Vickers missiles. We got Justin out on that side, I trust him. There's a chrysanthemum somewhere. I don't think I want to be on this side. Justin's going to stop anything going to the ACAP. I would imagine. Very good top tier player. Hmm. This is actually terrifying. There's 80 GMs landing everywhere. Careful, dude. Noisy boy. Oh, here we go. Just keep it up, and will be ours. Very bad shot. And again. You got him crowd with the machine gun, though. We are on fire, lost the track, but he's dead. Jeez, dude. Okay. Put this fire out quick so we can repair angle slightly. And here we go. Right, so he's dead. And that's a good thing. I'm being shot at from behind here. Let's not repair right now. 
Oh, damn. Okay. I steer the wrong direction. And we're being bullied by more rockets. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There goes the TAU. That may have between the guy. Yeah, that's just a dude ahead of me. Using heat as well. Damn, that helicopter messed us up. Oh, you see that little bit of heat going up there? Oh, it's because we burned, that's why. Okay, it's time to take out the Shaguar. What's the computer is on? However, we are being logged already by radar. This might be very quick. I'm going to get down low, I think. No, I'm not. We've lost half an elevator. I don't think my brother's doing so good either. I did see a chopper. Hold on, I'm going to throw these bombs off. Two aircraft up. And we're on fire. <laughs> I thought that was a jet. It's because he was so high up. And that's us down. I don't know if it's going to be worth bringing another tank. I think we might give it a shot though. That first helo we hit is still alive. This is not good. Big open map. Two helicopters. That was very close, actually. I would have been proud of that. A little bit too short, actually. Oh, yeah, there we go. Saddam with the... Mr. Al's got him. German MiG-21, nice. Okay, we're on B again. I think we can kind of move freely for now. The Discus and Thema, there's two of them somewhere. Well, one of them's just died actually. I'm gonna chum just in here. For this in CC2. Harder to kill two targets than it is one, that's for sure. Gets bunny ears. <laughs> go, go sub to him on YouTube. I'm actually gonna put his link in the description for you. I think he just hit 10k recently. I wonder if we can get him higher. Let's say 12, right? If you like top tier stuff, that's your man right there. You'll learn a lot from that, dude. <laughs> Fully erect, look. We still have many, many Russians left. Here we go. More helicopters. Oh, here goes my thermals glitching out. There we go. That man is far away. Almost 10 kilometers. This guy though. Maybe a little bit closer. Oh, shit. He just drove into me. Enemies on B. That should probably be my job. We almost had this too. That's not a good sound. Oh, he's driven off. BMP2 somewhere. Driven off, which means we are still bleeding tickets out. We're a Puma in our game. Okay. That was not ideal. And neither was that. So much for all breaks, I suppose. Okay. In them with my machine gun. There's not much forestry left here. I'm just gonna try and dive down and no actually I'm just gonna fight this guy I think. Where on earth is he? There he is. 
Got him. Oh, and that ended the game. Nice. Oh, damn, dude. This is a very small map. Single cab, too. Yikes. There we go. I think I'm just going to try and get to the center of the map. There's a little pond here I want to try and avoid. That'll slow us down quite a bit. Nope, we are not avoiding the pond. We're going straight in it. It's more than little, actually. Jeez. Oh, no. It didn't slow us down that much. We're okay. I'm going to try to head to E4. We should be able to ride up and down the hill. Shoot. Get back. And then we'll eventually die from the right flank. Usually how that goes. We're going to put our thermals on right now. So we're ready to go. We should have enemies out here. Hopefully not paying attention. That's the dream. Like so. Brad Campwagon just died to my right. And that guy was there too. Hmm, okay. A real good spot here, I don't want to surrender it. Someone will eventually come around the map though. Oh, we got an XM1 up there. Good. Okay. Actually, we got thermal binals as well, sometimes. The 1A2 just gets shot from his left. I just seen something here. They are currently on A. And if we get enough spawn points, we can hopefully deal with that with a Jaguar. It's a T-80U. Scary machine. Oh, that's a Jaguar as well. Okay. That XM1 just had a hard time. Got a guy pushing up in front of me here too. One of this guy, so he can't be on my left side. Oh no, not good. Gonna kind of reaches out. This is gonna be a depression war right now. Reaches out on him as well. This guy's pushing my left. Oh God, I was here. This guy just stopped there. Frag radiator fuel tank, and he's on fire. Let's reset his repair. This dude's still down in the water, though. Okay, backing up. Three down, I've got a 285 as backup. We still got one crit down there with his breach out. We are bleeding tickets heavy, though. Really bad. EMP of some sort, probably. This guy. Nope, oh, it's another T-80. Oh, damn. Oh, hello. This is the dude, I think, from earlier. I'm very dead. Very dead. <laughs> he missed. I don't know if my breach is able to fire. I don't think so. Oh, we are so dead. Our traverse on this train. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. My gun fired, but nothing happened. Let's see if I can mark this guy out for our team. HSTBL's coming. Oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> He's still alive, too. Okay, Shagwar time. Right, ballistic computer, make sure it's on. We have... Definitely a Tunguska down here somewhere. Well, that might be friendly radar SPA. Not too sure. Oh, hello. Nice double kill here. One, two. Here we go. Nothing. I dropped them too early. Oh, okay. 
as a BMP is very upset with me right now. These guys repairing each other. It's not a good sound. Enemy body. Angry boy, no doubt. Okay, one's gone. Oh, and there goes the ticket bleed. Real shame. Right, we're in a brawling map now. Advance the Rhine. I am not confident about this. This guy's going the wrong way. Unless he's doing something. Like staying in the one corner, maybe? I can't see anything. He's colorblind. So, thermals it is. a lot of artillery. Doesn't look like anything's coming that way. We are clear on that side too. Whenever this blue rains on a map, I just kinda call it bust. Pretty much. Flank here. See what happens. There are things on A. For sure. Okay. They appear to be all gone. Let's have a look down this line. One pen on that ring. Set me on fire though. That's a better shot. I'm gonna. Okay, now we're putting our fire out. Damn, dude, that thing is thick. There we go. Right, our engine is out. We might get flying from behind and... Oh, we got one guy watching there, good. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, we got dudes behind us and I'm facing the wrong way. Okay. I'm just going to keep watching this direction. He's shooting me on purpose for whatever reason. Right. Okay. Did he just tuck his track in now? <laughs> he flew through here too. Okay, good. Right, smoking up. We'll push. Just heard the very angry BMP too. Angsty boy, there he is. Probably shouldn't get in a close quarters fight with this guy, but this is what we're doing. That big boy there though too. Damn. Oh, good. What am I stuck on right now? Piece of metal? Yeah. I am jammed in here. Oh, it was because this Vickers was there. Vickers, what are you doing? Can you go away? I need... <laughs> I need my mobility bag. Vickers is shoving me still. Bro, please. Okay, TU is dead. There was another medium tank there though. That Vickers was getting very personal with us. Something is down this road. Or damn certain. Is that guy dead or not? I think he is. There's a lot going on over here.
thought that was delayed, but I just make him in. Okay, we're moving again. Just get shot from behind, I think. What is, why, why am I taking damage and not getting any indication where it's from? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the the damage markers don't work sometimes. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. I wouldn't be able to shoot this guy back. Oof. Uh, this is not going to be good. I can't see anything. And I don't think I'll see the missiles coming in either. Oh, that was close. Oh, there's three Tunguskas shooting at me at one time. One of these is bound to hit sometime. Mm -hmm. Oh, here come the guns. Three. Three Tunguskas. Yikes. Oh, time to go low. This thing is very heavy with these rock. Uh, sorry, bombs. Very heavy. I won't be able to get a decent angle to drop them either. Come all locks again. Did I just see a helicopter? I think I might have. We have the cabs over here though. Gotta stay low. Shooting at the chopper right now. And he's still alive, the chopper. Got a couple of dudes down here. I can't see a damn thing, though. Not a single thing. Right. Bombs are going out in this corner. I don't see the other spawn. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> I will take that. My teammates, thankfully, had pinged a couple of guys. A shilka. And a T-72 we got. Okay, there's a helicopter of some sort. And that smoke there too. I'm trying to find them. I think he died. Oh, and there we go. GG. Nice. Okay. So I think we've established that the Leclerc is definitely a very good tool at dealing with the Russian meta right now. I think there's just a problem with the operator. Someone who is a more skilled and a bit more experienced in top tier would probably do a lot better than I did. But yeah, this is a super nice vehicle if you're into top tier and you haven't ground it yet. I definitely recommend going through the French TIG tree. I reckon there's probably going to end up with a second Leclerc at some point in the future. And that's going to be a very nice lineup. And for the Jaguar, oh my goodness, this thing is really nice to fly. With the bombs, it is definitely very heavy. But as soon as you've dropped them, this thing's angle of engagement and just the way it handles, it's just, honestly, it's a joy. It's kind of like a slightly less fast and twitchy MiG-21. And it's, it's hard to explain. Unfortunately, there's things like Tunguskas and ADAS and things that are up quite commonly. You've got a lot of missiles to spam at you, so if there's more than one, you're definitely in a lot of trouble. But so long as you go unchecked, this thing is a very decent aircraft. Anyway, all of that said, I still had fun playing these two vehicles unusually. I might visit some top tier vehicles sometime in the near future. If you'd like to see that, obviously hit that subscribe button, hit the little no notification bell. I upload every single day. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye bye. Okay, his breach is out. This guy's now moving as well. Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, it was a phantom. God, dude. That <laughs> T-72 got boosted like 200 meters forwards. Hello. He's going to sit there and repair. Right, I think there's a chrysanthema. Oh, hello. 
Oh no, we got a breach shot from this side. No! <laughs> I was about to sneak up on this dude. Ah, uh, very unfortunate. Damn, dude. 